War has a way of stirring the depths of human imagination, giving birth to tales that blur the line between reality and myth. From the trenches of World War I to the jungles of Vietnam, witnesses have shared astonishing accounts of encounters with enigmatic beings. In the darkest hours of human history, amidst the chaos and uncertainty of war, stories emerge of encounters with creatures beyond imagination. Join us on a journey through the annals of history, as we delve into the realm of mysterious beings sighted during times of conflict. This is one of the most unsettling stories of the Civil War. One of the deadliest Civil War battles happened in Chickamauga Creek. The battle was fought on 19th and the 20th of September 1863, on Chickamauga Creek located in the Tennessee-Georgia border. There were over 34,000 casualties in the battle. This was the reason why the creek is also known as the River of Death. It is said that so much blood was spilled on the battleground, that it attracted a paranormal entity with green glowing eyes, which haunted the area long before the incident of civil war. After the battle was over, people started reporting sights of strange humanoid entity moving among the corpses. It was said to have green glowing eyes, large deformed jaw, from which terrifying fangs protruded, humanoid female body and long yellow hair. Soldiers described strange and misty fog appearing before the arrival of the creature, making it hard to see anything clearly, then the green glowing eyes would appear, sending chills down the spine. The entity never tried to attack or chase the observers, instead it stared at them until they moved away, only to follow them from a distance. After centuries rangers and travelers reported seeing the green-eyed monster, in the Chicamauga National Park. Some claim that it is the spirit of a dead soldier, who was forced to kill his own brother during a battle. But others think it is something sinister and inhuman, according to them it is a ghoul, living in the area since a long time. While there are no photographic evidence of this entity, but there are hundreds of testimonies, where people claim to have seen the green-eyed monster with their own eyes. One of the famous reported sighting happened during 1976, when a park ranger was exploring the forest area at 4 o'clock in the morning. He was walking when an inexplicable chill rushed over his body, according to his statement, I saw two green glowing eyes at the distance, then the entity came right in front of me. When it passed me, I could see his long yellow hair like a woman, green glowing eyes like animals, pointed long teeth like fangs, I didn't know whether to run or scream or what. Suddenly headlights of the passing car came blazing through the fog, and the creature disappeared right in front of me. In the year 1970, during the Vietnam War, few American soldiers were patrolling a valley, situated in the steel hills of South Vietnam. Suddenly they noticed a bad stench coming out of a nearby cave, it was so bad that they had to move away and spend several hours in a hiding spot. Just before dawn they were shocked to see, two strange humanoid lizard-looking beings, standing in the entrance of the cave, looking directly at the soldiers. A small unit of American soldiers had set up a camp in Vietnam Forest, which was about 30 miles away from demilitarized zone. They checked the area carefully and detected some activity, but they thought it was Viet Cong activity. It was a full moon night, but it was dark because of the forest area, the soldiers could not see anything clearly, but they came across a man-made structure that looked like a stone wall. As if somebody has stacked rocks in the path, as they moved further they came across an opening resembling a big cave. They carefully looked at the entrance and came to the conclusion, that somebody cut it through machinery, as the edges were smooth and the space inside the cave was large. The sergeant thought it could be a supply depot, and it was necessary to examine it completely. Suddenly they also felt the same stench, it was like decaying dead bodies or rotten eggs. The soldiers moved away as fast as they could, and took their positions behind the trees almost 150 feet away. They waited several hours for any activity in the entrance, in the morning about 5 am, they saw a lizard humanoid creature, about 7 feet tall, having dark and scaly skin. The second creature also joined him and both of them hissed loudly at the soldiers. 
Not knowing what to do, the soldiers opened fire at them. Bullets could do nothing to them, they simply vanished in thin air, and the entrance of the cave collapsed because of several rounds of fire. This mysterious incident was not discussed afterwards, and the official report of the encounter was kept hidden by the authorities. Mermaids are part of folklore and history, having upper half body of beautiful nymph and lower half body of a fish. People since ancient times claimed to have encountered them. A series of such mystical encounters also happened in Indonesia, during World War II. In 1943, Japanese soldiers were stationed in the Kai Island of Indonesia. One fine day, a soldier was looking at the water when suddenly, he got a glimpse of a strange creature, it was half human half fish. He could not believe his eyes and told this encounter to the fellow soldiers. Locals were familiar with the creature and they called them Orang Ikan. Soon other soldiers who were stationed there came to know that it was not a myth. They all reported several such mermaids in the ocean. According to them the creatures had spikes on their spines, pinkish soft skin, and they had two frog-like hands with fins. One day a group of soldiers came to a natural lagoon, it seemed normal until they noticed thrashing movements in water, suddenly a mermaid appeared and looked at the soldier, and made weird gurgling noise. Then another similar creature was swimming towards them, they were not friendly at all, soldiers decided to shoot them, but the creatures were very fast. They instantly moved out of their sight. Sergeant Taro requested the villagers to inform him, if they find the creature dead or alive. Soon enough he received communication from the villagers, as they kept one dead mermaid for the sergeant. He carefully looked at it with his own eyes, he, he also tried to involve the scientific community, but it didn't work out as planned. During the First World War, a Canadian veteran had a mysterious encounter with otherworldly hound. Nightmare began in November 1914, when Captain Yeskis along with four other soldiers went to patrol the area known as No Man's Land in Mons. They never returned back, after searching for days on end, their bodies were recovered. All of them had teeth marks on their throat, and the soldiers would hear a strange howling sound in night. From then on, more and more soldiers were dying in the same location, having teeth marks on their throats, some of them was brutally eaten up. At night the soldiers would feel that someone or something is following them, but they were not able to see the creature, all they could see was red glowing eyes. After discussing it with locals they came to know, that a German scientist was conducting an experiment in the city, he was trying to place the brain of a man-man into the body of a dog. After the procedure was successful, he released the bleared thirsty beast in forest area to kill enemy soldiers. This is the end of today's episode, please like, comment down your views below, and subscribe to the channel for more mystical episode, I will see you soon, take care.